good evening everybody and welcome um, so this evening we're going to do some pregnancy yoga um, and I thought it was a really nice idea to do some workspace chair yoga this evening um, and along with this we're going to do some uh, yoga with our birthing ball. Um, now my main reasons for doing this session this evening is that lots of us are working at home at the moment um, whether we're working or homeschooling, I thought maybe the chair yoga is a nice way to break up our day. So first of all, we're going to make ourselves nice and comfortable on our mat. So if you have a mat, lay it down on the floor, make sure it's nice and flat. Make sure everything around you is nice and clear, you've got space to move. And then I just want you to find those sit bones, okay? So check in with your posture. Tuck those bottom cheeks if you need to. Feel your sit bones on the mat. And then from those sit bones, I want you to check in with your posture as you work your way up through your body. So chest lifted, shoulders relaxed. Nice flat back. You rest the hands on the knees. Put the eye gaze directly forwards. Now if you want to, you can be in a cross-legged position. Or if you find it more comfortable, Put the legs out nice and straight in front, just like so. Okay, you can rest your hands on your knees. If you want a little bit more support, just pop those hands down on the mat softly behind you. Okay. So I'm gonna sit in my cross-legged position, really feel those sit bones, hands on my knees, give those shoulders a little roll, chest lifted, shoulders relaxed. I'm gonna close my eyes just for a sec, for a moment. I'm really going to tune into my breath right now. I'm going to take a couple of nice, deep, calm breaths, breathing in through the nose and breathing softly back out again. And this isn't a forced breath. It's my natural rhythm of my breath, but I'm just bringing my attention to my own breath right now. And our breath can tell us a lot about how we're feeling. I want you to bring your awareness to your breath, but not to pass judgment, just bring awareness to that breath. Calm, maybe you're feeling quite relaxed. Is it erratic? Maybe you've had quite a stressful, busy day. Bring your awareness to the breath and then we're just going to gain calm control of that breath. So each of our breaths now, I'm going to make just a little bit deeper and a little bit longer each time. So let's take a nice deep breath in. A nice soft breath out. So again, we're not forcing the breath. We're letting the breath flow naturally, but just aiding that breath so it's a little bit longer and deeper each time. To take these next couple of moments just to check in with how are you feeling today and I want you to ask yourself how are you feeling today it's a question we often ask others around us but sometimes neglect to ask ourselves but it's just important that we self-care and we self-love and we look after ourselves. So how are you feeling today? Take a moment just to bring awareness and acknowledgement to this. Now we're 
the acknowledgement of those feelings. I want you to take the next few breaths just to say to yourself that you have nothing else to do right now and you have nowhere else to be. And right now, this time, you've put aside for you to self-care and to self-love. It's not selfish to self-care, but a very important part of well-being. So allow yourself this time right now just to check in. let go of thoughts from our day, thoughts from our week, and to release tension from within our body. As we breathe in, breathe in oxygen, breathe in energy. And as we breathe out, release tensions from within your body. Relax and release the tension in the shoulders, the arms, the legs, the ankles and the feet. And just take a couple more moments just to breathe. Really let go. Do some nice soft shoulder rolls now, breathing in, roll the shoulders up towards the ears, and breathing out, roll the shoulders back and down, open up the chest, open up the heart. We welcome our session today. We welcome our session with an open heart. softly blink open those eyes right now, have a little wriggle, have a little shake through those shoulders if you need to. Excellent. Okay, we're going to make our way over to our chair now. So let's bring our knees up, take the feet forwards, take the feet round to the side. We're going to push up onto our knees into an all fours position. We tuck the toes under, we're going to roll back through the feet, push up through the legs to come up to standing. Okay, make sure our space is nice and clear. And we're going to take a seat in our chair. Now, if you need a cushion just to prop yourself forwards, do you have a cushion there too? Because we want our feet flat on the floor, our cushion propped behind our back to help support our posture if we need. Okay, let's check in with our posture here. So, sit bones, feel the sit bones on the seat of the chair, feet flat on the floor chest lifted, shoulders relaxed. Okay, now I want you to hold this position here and just simply take a few nice long deep breaths. Good, okay, we're gonna take that breath just a little bit deeper now. And we're going to do something called full long breath. Now full long breath is really good for endorphin release. Endorphin release is our positive feel good hormone. Okay so we want to flood our body with those happy feel good hormones to get us through our week and to get us through these troubling times as we battle on through the coronavirus pandemic. Okay so full lung breath is a really nice way just to take a break from 
uh, the busyness of what's going on around us right now. Okay, we're going to release those endorphins. Okay, and we're going to get that feel good feeling. Okay, so to do this, we're going to take a nice deep breath in into the belly. Okay, I want you to inflate your belly almost like you have an inner balloon within your belly. Nice big belly breath, and then we're going to take that breath all the way round to the sides of the belly. We're going to breathe into the sides of the belly, up into the diaphragm, into the chest. Really inflate those lungs within your chest and into the back. So inflate those lungs into your back. Take that breath up to the shoulders. We're going to hold it one, two, before we softly let that breath go. Now it may take a little bit of practice, okay? We don't want this breath to be forced. It's not a, <gasps> okay? We want this breath to softly flow through our body, from our belly, sides of belly, diaphragm, all the way through our chest, into the back of the chest, up to the shoulders, and then softly let it go. Now a really nice visualization that I like to use when I do this breath is that wave-like motion. So that wave is flowing in from my belly, all the way through my body to my diaphragm, into my chest, up to my shoulders. And that wave, it sits there, one, two, before it softly recedes back down again. Okay, and we're using the full capacity of our lungs with this breath. Okay, and that nice big long in breath and even longer out breath is really going to help to harvest and promote that endorphin release. So let's give it a try. So chest lifted, shoulders relaxed, rest the hands on the legs. Okay, make sure that upper body is, uh, the posture of the upper body is nice and straight. And let's try that nice big full long breath now. So deep breath in, into the belly, sides of belly, diaphragm, up into the chest shoulders, hold it, one, two, softly let the breath go. Okay, now I'm going to leave you to do two or three of these in your own time because we're all going to breathe at slightly different rates. Our lung capacities in each of us are very different, okay? So let's just take a moment in our own time to practice that full long breath. So breathing into the belly, sides of the belly, diaphragm, chest, back of the chest, shoulders, and softly up again, okay? Let's do that now. such a deep breath but it brings with it such calmness doesn't it on our hypnobirthing and birthing toolkits we talk more about the science of that breath and how um it really helps to calm the mind um and the nervous systems involved as well so yeah do um 
look into those two if that's of interest to you. Okay, great. So I'm going to start with some upper body asanas now. Okay, so again, I just want you to recheck in with your posture on your chair. Reposition your cushion if you need to. Feet flat on the floor so you can feel all four points of the feet on the ground. Lift the toes, spread the toes, plant them down into the mat so you feel nice and grounded, nice and rooted. Sit bones you can feel on the seat of the chair. Chest lifted, shoulders relaxed. We're just going to do some nice soft shoulder rolls now. Rolling the shoulders up towards the ears, rolling the shoulders back and down. Rolling the shoulders up, rolling the shoulders back down. Breathing in as we roll up, breathing out as we roll back down. Oh, that feels kind of nice, doesn't it? Okay, releasing some of the tensions within our shoulders. Our shoulders are an area of the body, in the body that we tend to hold on to a lot of our tensions and stresses. It's nice to have that release. Good. Okay, we're going to take the hands out in front of us now. Okay, and this little sequence we're going to do now is really nice for those of you that may be having a little bit of pregnancy carpet tunnel. Something that I had in my first pregnancy. And these moves are really going to help to um, release um, some of that feeling of that tightness and stiffness within the hands. Okay, so we're going to take a nice deep breath in as we breathe in, delivering our fingertips towards the ceiling. Plug those shoulders in and breathe out, take the fingertips down towards the floor. Breathe in, fingertips up. down as we breathe out. Okay, so this little sequence is really good for mobility into the wrists. In pregnancy, our blood volume increases and this can cause a little bit of pressure on the carpal tunnel, which can sometimes cause pregnancy carpal tunnel syndrome. And the really good news is that after birth it does tend to disappear. Okay, we're going to take hold of our thumbs with our fingers. We're going to do some circles round and round with our hands now. Well, in my first pregnancy, as well as these moves, my grandma taught me how to knit and how to crochet. And then the movement of crocheting really helped to relieve some of my symptoms too. And I did this while sat on my birthing ball, okay, so as well as um, strengthening my posture and helping with my baby's positioning, I was crocheting on my birthing ball, which helped with my carpal tunnel too. My little girl got a beautiful blanket out at the end. Good. Okay, we're going to take the arms out nice and wide now. Chest lifted, open hearts. We're going to breathe in, bring the fingertips to our shoulders. And breathe out, open up nice and wide. Feel the stretch through the chest. Breathe in, fingertips to our shoulders. And breathe out, push away. Breathe in. And breathe out. Good, breathe in, rest the fingertips on the shoulders. Some circles round with those elbows now. Okay, we're going to take it a little bit wider now than our first lot of shoulder rolls. Going round in one direction, opening up the chest, stretching through the upper back. And then we're going to go round in the opposite direction too. Good, really open up that chest. Feel the stretch of the shoulder, uh, shoulder blades down the back. Using that breath, breathing in as we come round to the front, breathing out as we take the elbows round to the back. Good, okay, bring the hands down, rest them here. Okay, we're going to bring the uh, chin down to our chest now. And you're going to kind of let go of the head, just let it fall, let that chest go down, your chin go down towards the chest. 
Okay, now this is a really nice stretch through the neck, through the trapezius muscle and the upper back. So we're going to take a nice deep breath in as we breathe in. We're just going to let the head roll round through our right hand side. Our right ear goes towards the right shoulder. Close your eyes for this bit. It's quite nice to have those eyes softly closed. Breathing in, take a nose towards the ceiling. Let the head fall back. Really stretch round and roll that head round the shoulder girdle. Nose towards the ceiling as we breathe out. And then bring the head all the way round, left ear to left shoulder. Chin down towards the chest. Let's do that again. Let that head hang, slow controlled movements round the shoulder girdle. That ear round to the shoulder, the nose up towards the ceiling, forehead to ceiling. Relax your facial muscles as we do this, relax the jaw. Soft breath out as we come down on the opposite side. Good, chin to the chest. Chin reaches the bottom of the chest. We're going to go around in the opposite direction now. So we're going to take the in breath, left ear to left shoulder this time. Let the head roll back, nose towards the ceiling. Head back, forehead to the ceiling, towards the sun. And right ear to right shoulder. Roll the head. Let's do that one more time. Oh, it feels good, it feels really nice release through that trapezius, through the neck. Good, okay, I want you to bring your eye gaze directly forwards now. Okay, I want you to align the head with the rest of the spine. We're going to take a nice deep breath in. As we breathe out, we're going to look over the left shoulder towards the left side. Breathe in, come to centre. And breathe out over to the right. Breathe in, come to centre. And breathe out, look over to the left. Breathe in to the centre and breathe out back to the right. Good, come back to centre, bring our hands to our heart, nice deep breath in. We're going to reach up but we're not back bending, we're just reaching to the ceiling. Breathe out, bring the hands down by the side. Hands to heart, breathe in, reach up. And breathe out, bring the hands down. Good, one more. Breathe in, reach up. And breathe out, come back down. Good, bring our hands to the heart. Let's open up the chest. Fingertips to sh uh, shoulders, elbows to the centre. Nice deep breath in. We're going to take opposite elbows. One towards the ceiling, one towards the floor, stretch through the chest, nice deep breath in. And breathe out, bring those elbows back to centre. Breathe in, opposite elbows. One up, one down, breathe out, come back to centre. Good, one more. And last one on this side too. Good. Okay, let's rest the hands on the knees. Okay, a nice one, another nice knee that we can do within our chair. It's good for our lower back, our quad uh, drupas lumborum muscles, the QR muscles in the lower back, which um, are quite 
heavily relied on during our, our pregnancy is that our abdominal muscles separate. We tend to call on the QL muscles a little bit more than we would normally. Okay, so they can become quite tight and quite tense. So a nice release is our sitting cat. So to do this one, we're going to take a nice deep breath in. And as we breathe out, we're going to roll the pelvis backwards. We're going to arch the back, chin towards the chest, round the shoulders. Breathe in, we're going to open up the chest, come back to a nice flat back. I turn sideways on my chair, you'll be able to see this a little bit better. Okay, so feet flat on the floor, nice deep breath in. And breathing out, roll the pelvis back, chin to our chest, arch the back. towards you. I'm going to do some nice little heel raises now, okay? So we're going to concentrate more on the lower body now, okay? So nice deep breath in, we're going to raise the heels up off the floor and breathe out all the feet back down to land on your mat. Breathe in and raise the heels. Breathe out, roll the feet down. Take the right leg now, we're going to bring the right leg up, place the ankle across the knee, okay, rest the hand on the knee, and this is our seated pigeon, nice hip opener, stretch through the hip here, chest lifted, shoulders relaxed, take a couple of breaths here. fingers we're gonna hold on to our toes now okay we can hold our shin just to support our leg and we're gonna do some nice circles through those ankles with those toes now so this one's really good for those that may have slightly puffy feet and fluffy ankles during pregnancy our lymphatic system slows down ever so slightly lymph is transported around our body through muscle contraction these simple little moves will help to disperse some of that puffiness that congregates around our feet and our ankles. Go around in one direction, then you can go around in the opposite direction too. Turn around using that breath. Squat the legs over now. So bring the left leg up and over the right leg. Okay. Drop the knee, chest lifted, shoulders relaxed. Let's take a couple of breaths here. Take hold of the toes and then go to do those nice circles again on the opposite side. Using that breath, breathing in and breathing out. Take the foot down. Okay, plant the feet just hip width apart. 
on the mat, toes pointed forwards, feel the four points of the foot on the mat, so have a little rock through those feet if you need to, so find that position. Okay, we're going to take a nice deep breath in now. As we take a nice deep breath in, we're going to push forwards on, on just standing, okay, using the muscles within the legs. So nice deep breath in, take the hands forwards, reach up to the ceiling, breathe out, bring the hands down, bend the legs, slip the bottom back onto the chair behind you, the hands to heart. Breathe in, push up through the feet, push up through the legs, come up into standing. Breathe out, bring the hands down, sit the hips back onto the chair, hands to heart. Let's do that again. So a nice squatting motion here, which is really good for building strength in the glute muscles. The glute muscles are great for stabilisation and helping with our posture. Okay, here we go. Give those glute muscles a little squeeze as you get to the top of the move. Breathe out, gently back down. Perfect, okay, keep the hands here. We're gonna take a nice deep breath in, reach up. And breathe out, bring the left hand to the inside of the left knee, right hand to the back of the right side of the chair. Breathe out, look over the shoulder and the most gentle twist. Breathe in, bring the arms up. And breathe out, right hand to the inside of right knee, left hand to the back of the left side of the chair, look over the left shoulder. Good, let's do a couple more, reaching up, breathing in, breathing out, coming back down. Good, breathing in, coming up, and breathing out, coming down. Breathe in, bring hands to ceiling, breathe out, hands back to our heart. Good, excellent. Okay, we're going to move on to our birthing ball now, okay? So, if you haven't got one of these, I would strongly recommend them. Um, I use this a lot throughout uh, my pregnancy and especially in my birth. Um, and the reason um, that I use this a lot, especially in my first pregnancy, was because um, at my midwife appointment, I was told that my baby was back to back. Um, and my midwife strongly encouraged me to replace sitting on the sofa for long periods of time to times of um, sitting on the ball um, and having studied pregnancy yoga and become a pregnancy yoga teacher and taking part in pregnancy yoga myself. Um, there's a few other moves that we can do which also helps with baby positioning. Now, uh, the heaviest part of our baby is our baby's spine. Now, when we're sat on the sofa, we tend to adopt a position more of where we are sat back. Okay, now in this position, if you imagine your baby suspended in fluids, the heaviest part of your baby, the spine, the spine is more likely to gravitate round towards your spine, which is what we call back to back. However, we um, change that positioning and we substitute the sofa or our office chair for time on our ball, okay, where our hips are higher than our knees, we can open our legs. Not only do we create more space for baby, which allows baby to drop down the birthing canal, okay, we're also in a more upright position. Okay, and naturally that baby's uh, spine is going to gravitate more towards our belly. Okay, so a few moves that we can do whilst we're watching the television of an evening, sitting on our ball. We can do some nice hip circles round and round. Okay, this is really nice in labour as well. Lovely move in labour. I spent lots of time throughout my labour doing some circles round and round. We can go round in one direction opposite direction. We can do a figure of eight type motion on the ball. Okay, and it's listening to your body, 
following the rhythm and the pattern feels comfortable for you. So it might be a figure of eight, it might be round and round, it might be a swirly whirly. Have an experiment, what works well for you? Okay, another nice one is bouncing on the ball. Okay, so keeping that chest lifted, we're going to work on those inner abdominal muscles, we're going to build that postural strength to help carry our baby and postnatally if we're looking to uh, carry our baby in baby car uh, carriers that abdominal or inner abdominal strength is going to help with that okay this is good for using gravity in our labor baby to travel down the birthing canal some nice soft bounces on the ball okay well, another great way to help with baby positioning we take the ball and we come round towards the back of the ball. We're going to kneel down and go on our forearms. Do some nice little pelvic um, rocks from side to side. And do some nice pelvic tilts. So tucking the tailbone under and releasing. So breathing in and breathing out. Tucking and untucking that tailbone. And do some lunges on our balls. I'm going to take the left foot forward. So we're going to breathe in, rock forwards. Breathe out, rocking back. As we rock forwards, we bring the knee over the top of the ankle and then we further forwards. So we're not going to put any extra strain on our joints especially if they're a little bit more supple during our pregnancy due to that relaxing hormone. Rocking backwards, feel the stretch through the hamstring, through the hips. Good. Okay, bring the left leg back. You can do this thing on the right side, okay? Be sure to make sure that you always do what you do on one side, we do on the other side too, okay? We want to keep our body nice and balanced, nice and equal, in line. In. Rocking through those hips. Nice. I'm going to take the right foot back now. We may cradle the ball. Maybe some little rocks from side to side, cradling on the ball. We have got a little bit of lower back ache. Maybe we could have our partner behind us. And there's a nice little massage on our back, stimulating our oxytocin. Nice gentle rocks from side to side. You can see that in this position, in this all fours position, either on the ball or directly on the floor, all fours position on the floor. Okay, we're going to encourage that baby's spine more round towards um, our belly. Okay, we can do a nice little shake in the rapid here. Great for circulation into the hips, so a good one first thing in the morning as you get up. Nice little shake of the maraca in bed before you venture out for the day. Nice little release through that pelvis. Good, excellent. So there's a few little moves for you. Um, but now we're going to settle down. We're going to find a nice comfortable position ready for our relaxation. Okay, so you can be laid on the mat have your pillow behind your head for support you can use a block if you have one you can lay on your side if you wish the block between your legs to help align your hips or if it's more comfortable place it on the floor beside you or if you wish maybe you'd like to be sat in your chair okay so again use your cushion for support a nice seated position in your chair. Okay, I'm going to give you a minute 
just to find your comfortable position, whether that's on the mat or on the chair, you can choose, it's entirely up to you. yourself nice and comfortable. The shoulders a little roll, release any tension. Okay. I want you to use this time now to relax yourself and your baby. At any point, Feel free to have a shuffle if it will help to make you feel a little bit more comfortable and to help deepen you into your relaxation. This is your time now to quite simply just be free from distraction, to release all tension. Don't worry whether you're doing it right or wrong. And if at any moment you feel your mind begin to wander, just simply bring your attention back to your breath, to being here, present, in this moment of stillness and calm. Your moment of stillness and of calm. From allowing yourself this time, as we continue to practice our relaxation throughout our courses, I hope you will find it much easier to find a sense of complete relaxation. One that you can take with you throughout your pregnancy and throughout your journey into motherhood. So that in your labour, you are able to fill your body with endorphins and oxytocin. So you can birth calmly and lovingly. Now allow your focus to come to your breath. Let yourself breathe easily and comfortably. Taking a couple of long, deep breaths. As you breathe in, imagine you are sending warm energy to any parts of your body that might be feeling a little bit tight or tense right now. And as you exhale, really let go of those tensions and thoughts from your day or your week. Thoughts may enter your mind. Just let them flow where they may and then let them go. Letting go as you exhale. Breathing deeply and slowly. Allow your body to relax naturally. Take a long, slow breath in. Then let it go. Each time making that exhalation a little bit slower and longer. This time as you breathe in, maybe count to four. And as you exhale, count to eight. Letting that breath take away any tensions and thoughts. And as you continue to do this, you will become more deeply relaxed. Breathing in, counting to four. Breathing out, counting to eight. Letting yourself sink deeper and deeper into your peaceful, calming state. Letting all thoughts float away. Now envision a warm light emerging at the top of your head. As you lay calmly 
and peacefully in your favourite place. It may be your favourite beach on white golden sand, the sound of la waves lapping onto the shore. Or laying on the fresh green grass high on the hill surrounded by flowers, bees floating softly from flower to flower. You can be anywhere. Somewhere you have been before, somewhere within your imagination. This is your happy place, your safe place. And you feel the warmth on the top of your head. A warmth that begins to travel to your forehead. Passing over your eyes that are softly closed. Really soaking the warmth as it goes over your shoulders, arms, fingers, fingertips. From the chest to your tummy, hips, legs, ankles, feet and toes. As the light passes over every muscle, organ and cell in your body, it fills your body with everything that you and your baby need to be healthy and comfortable. You are providing all the nutrients, warmth and all the love your baby needs to thrive, grow and develop. Each time this beautiful warm light scans your body, it radiates health, comfort and relaxation. So you can continue to provide your baby with everything that they need. And now really affirm to yourself that you and your baby are provided with the best nutrition, care, rest and love to have a safe, comfortable and beautiful pregnancy. Staying in your place of calm, feeling the warmth on your body, bring this energy and warmth to your heart. The heart with it, which with each beat brings strength and nourishment to your baby, growing and developing every day inside you. Be content in the knowledge that with every beat brings everything that your baby needs. Keeping your eyes closed and soft, I want you to take a look around your beautiful, safe, calm place. What can you see? What aromas can you smell? What can you hear? Notice what it feels like to be there, peaceful, present, safe. Notice your baby with you. You may be holding your baby or maybe they're resting close by. Notice how in the moment of calm, how peaceful your baby is too. Notice the comfort that you and your baby provide for each other. And you and your baby are surrounded by complete safety and security and love. Then you focus on a particular spot where it feels particularly good for you and your baby. A place where you feel centered and at ease. A place you can explore your imagination to its fullest. Take time to notice just how you feel emotionally in this safe, protected space. that in your heart you can go back to this place at any time during your pregnancy, labour or after birth and when you visit this space you and your baby become instantly calm and relaxed in mind and in body to enable us to refocus on our day with calmness So now as we let the image of this special place fade away, 
know that each time you find your special place again, it will become easier and faster to find that deep relaxation and calmness, both for you and for your baby. But for now, it is time for us to prepare to come back to our room. There is no rush. And always remember that at any time you choose, you can go back to your place of calm, peace and serenity. That place is always with you. When you are ready, keeping that inner calmness and relaxation with you, stretch out your arms. Stretch out your legs. Softly, link open your eyes. And we're going to come back to sitting on our mats once more. Let's take a couple more breaths in this moment. Probably do a little uh, stretch just to finish. Bring our hands to our hearts and take a nice deep breath in. We're going to reach up. Bring the last breath out. Take those hands out nice and wide. Breathe in, cross the arms around your belly, tuck the chin into your chest. Give yourself a little cuddle, give yourself a little bit of love. A little rock from side to side. Breathe in, open up. And breathing out, cross the opposite hands on top. Give yourself a little rub on my back, rub on my shoulders. Breathe in, open up the chest. Take your hands towards the ceiling, palms of the hands meet, bring them down to our heart. And namaste. Thank you for joining me this evening. Namaste.